did this match come to be? So you see, there's this thing called Discord. And I have Eric Rosen added on Discord. One day, I was like, hey, Eric, do you want to play a match against me? And he was like, yeah, sure, Nemo. When do you want to play? And I'm like, how about sometime next week? And he's like, yes, that sounds good. Please let me know what time works for you. And I was like, okay, how about Wednesday at 5 p.m.? He was like, okay, see you then. That's how it came to be. Okay, I am good Rosen. Um, okay, I'll 3-0. I'll make it unrated because my rating is really low right now. I mean, right, if you want to farm work. me, I'm... Is, no, 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 no. Okay. I don't want to. I'm going to okay. lose rating. <laughs> okay. Yeah, well, yeah, I yeah. could farm you. I don't know. That's true. I mean, we can do it rated, but also like, hmm, it's okay. It's okay. We already have our egos online. I think that's enough. Okay. Uh, that sounds like enough for me. Yeah. Sounds good. All right. Best of luck. We'll call after the three minute portion. Okay. Good luck. All right. Good luck. Bye. Bye. Okay, sorry if the audio is off. I I wasn't um, paying so close, so close attention to the the levels. Um. Oh, what did I prepare? I prepared time mana first. Let me close all my tabs too. Uh, okay. Okay, should be good. Okay, deep breath. Oh, I prepared Jalalabad too. <laughs> oh, she's playing. Uh, she's playing something a bit quieter. Um, did Chessweep teach her this? Wait a minute. Let me th think for a moment here. I'm going to play, um, play this and we're going to have a more kind of closed Sicilian position. Um, I spent, spent a lot of time in the first like five moves. But uh, okay, finding some groove. We'll play, we'll play B6, maybe go for D5. And yeah, she wants to play this, so play rook e8, probably go bishop h8. Still want to play d5 eventually. Yeah, I think I want to take. And then it looks scary, like the whole king side is... Um, it looks a little bit delicate, but the bishop covers f6. Uh, there's nine of five, which is a move. Uh, then we can trade. I don't mind that actually. I guess she has bishop g5, but then f6. Wait a minute. Takes, takes. I think it's okay. This bishop might get stuck, especially after f4. Yeah, so I'll take opening the file. Now both center files are open. Um, down on time. Queen. Queen d7 is natural. Okay, I'm going to stay focused here. Oh, thank you, Nylon R. Yeah, I appreciate all the support, the $10 donation too. Um, from earlier. Okay, so what to do? I like the position overall, but I just wanna wanna maximize maximize pressure. I think I'll offer the trade of bishops and then try and get the knight either into e3 or to f6. Um f6 and g4 is one plan. Do I play f6 right now? It's a funny move. Oh, I could. Because then 93 is coming. So I have a double threat. So I'm down a minute. Position is good, though. Let's take. And I should offer the trade. Now let's um, let's make her think. If I played this, and easy move for white. And now we'll do this. Oh, there's a trap. Or is there? No. But maybe. Play bishop e4 first. Okay, this is a beautiful position. I want to play rook c2. Oh. 
Okay. Just stay calm. I mean, there's so many good options or good looking options that it's hard to choose sometimes uh, the move to go for. Uh, let's just push a pawn. I just want to keep moving quickly and try and make up the time deficit. A4. Okay, I had rook c1. Knight d3. Here we trade. Ooh, wait a minute. Okay, this move. I want to play rook a1. And then we'll defend. It's not so easy to win with the time situation. Okay, h6 and g5. I know she's fast. Okay, here we go. So now I win the thing. Uh, was... Oh, wait, what? Oh, she resigned, and I would have blundered my queen. <laughs> I thought queen f3 was mate. She resigned before I could actually blunder my queen. That's so funny. <laughs> no one tell her. Wow. Okay. Man, I got nervous there. I was low on time. <laughs> what a start to the match. Yeah, she wouldn't she wouldn't know. Like um obviously it was losing of her for white, but oh she wants to do things. I feel like she prepared for my London. Okay, we'll play one of these. What a start. Okay. So I have to manage my time better. Um, if she's playing bishop g4, I'm going to mix up the move order next game. Wait, did she fall for this trap last time? She may have. I vaguely remember, like, getting her with this bishop a6 idea. Um, bishop b7 is a better move. So there's certain variations where the queen will win the bishop. Um, and already, like if rook c8 here, I take, rook takes, I have bishop b5. Maybe now I can win a pawn. And this is, uh, rook b is prevented. Oh, thank you. Uh, thanks, thanks to so many people. Um, if I have a time advantage, maybe I'll read off people who are subbing. Ashton Reese, trying to learn, one, two, three, four. Uh, Flavor Daver, and yeah, uh, thanks everyone. I guess everyone previously too. That's a good move. If I, yeah, let's just do this. Typical London stuff. Hmm. I didn't want to allow Bishop digs d2. So. Yeah, holding my ground. Two moves away from castling. Pawn structure is a little bit ugly. Ooh, I should have played Bishop e2. Wait, this is just not a good position. Because f4 is in black's control. I have some idea of this. g6 would be nice for me. Okay, let's back up. Preventing queen c2. I probably just want to like hunker down. It's a really sad move, like just completely undeveloping. But I want a pawn. I'm just holding on for dear life. Now the idea is to play queen d3. 
I might not end up casting this game. Like, the rook might come here. Oh, she's going to attack on the b-file, too. Okay, but I do have a time advantage. King d1. That's such an ugly move, but... Yeah, e5 is coming. Okay, I'm going to run the king and then kind of fake castle on the queen side. Let's... Ooh. I guess I could... No. What do I do here? Yeah, I'm getting crushed. Uh, maybe rook. Let me just say goodbye to the h pawn. I'm gonna try and prevent the d file from opening. Mm. This is really bad. Play this move. Okay, maybe trade queens. Okay. At least I have a position I can work with. Let's attack something. E2 still covered. Attack the bishop. Attack the pawn. The rook on the h file, maybe. B4, perhaps. Kind of weakening move. But well, we're going to start pushing. Oh, my rook. Ah! My rook is just trapped. This move. Trying to be tricky. Let's go. Tricks are for kids, but also for whatever I am. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's play this. Uh, wait, my time. Wait, I'm queening. With check. Let's go. Okay. Oh, that was really close. She outplayed me completely. And then I guess I was tricky enough. Okay, <laughs> rematch. And these game, these games are so stressful. Okay, the first game I was better, and then it, I almost didn't win, and then that game I was much worse, um, but somehow won. Okay, um, what did I prepare? Oh yeah, let's let's go in into at least one Stafford. She's probably prepared this time. Oh, okay, let's play this. So she's just avoiding the Stafford, but we're getting um, a reverse fried liver. Wait, I don't know this line. This is exactly a reverse fried liver. She doesn't play e5 as... as black, so she... Hopefully she doesn't know the theory here. Um, there is some, like, Carlson, Wesley, so chessable course type thing. Um, yeah, I know this move is, like, the trendy thing people do these days. Okay, so I'm out of any sort of prep, but I am up a pawn. That's the one good thing about this opening, is it's kind of up to white to get compensation. Maybe queen h4. It's actually very pleasant, because the structure's a bit off for white too. This pawn's attacked. Oh, can I take on h3 and play queen f4? It's almost winning, but there's rook e1. Oh, also, our, she would just take my bishop. Never mind. But it's an idea. 
just to keep in mind, can I trap the knight? B5. Nah, it's so, everything's so close to working. Let's start with B5. Make the knight move backwards. I was thinking B4. I'm just trusting instinct. Because takes, takes, takes. Maybe I don't have anything. Wait a minute, can I take... It's getting weird. She could take here, takes, etc. I can also play this move threatening bishop a6. I think I'll just go for this. Oh. Yeah, that was less expected, but also looks playable. Oh yeah, I'm going to be tricky, threatening bishop a6. Yeah, it's a nice kind of skewer kebab. Not sure what my thread is. Maybe knight here. So the queen's tied down to the bishop. Bishop's pinned to the rook. Yeah, there is some nice double skewer kebab. Okay, and I think I'll be up the exchange because both bishops are hanging. So we could trade. She could take here, but I take and then the knight's pinned. Put the bishop back. Okay, so I'm down on time, but position is very good. Maybe this move. Actually, that maybe doesn't work. A4. Because the pawn was attacked. Okay. I want to play f5. I think maybe now it's more playable. So if takes, I take on e2 first. Wow. Confusing position. That's a good move. Now ah, my time. Whoa, it's Regretful Chlamydia. Thanks for gifting subs. Regretful Chlamydia, good to see you. Okay. Have to stay focused. So if takes... I mean, the rook's ready to come to e1. Any time I could try and simplify. There's also this idea, c5. It's not hanging a queen. Um, take your first. Oh, that's check. Forgot that's check. No. Okay, I'm kind of losing here. And down on time. Can I pull some more dirt? Good move. No, that was a mouse slip. I'm just dead. Yeah, all my pieces. Um, yeah. I was hoping she would pre-move some pawn move there. Yeah, I got mated. Yeah. So the hope is that um, they pre-move this, because if I queen, the pre-move gets cancelled. So, like, promoting to rook is uh, the hope. Well played. Yeah, I've, um, <laughs> I mean, I made one mouse slip, but I was already kind of worse. Um, okay, let's play, play e4. What did we go into last time? Oh, I played London, uh, um, the previous game. Wait, she plays e5? I'll play Ponziani. Oh, I remember. I trapped her uh, last time in Ponziani. There was some fun um, trap where, yeah, she took the, the pawn. <laughs> she took the pawn. And then I 
Um, I played d5 and won the knight, but she's not falling into it this time. Okay, so we're going to have a more kind of solid position. Oh, thanks so much. Regretful Chlamydia says, love your content and love this community. I love you and the community as well. Really appreciate that. Play queen b1. So she wants to play f5, which is kind of a very thematic move. Queen b1. Also this move. The drawback of this move is if takes, takes, there's knight b4. So if takes, I'll take with knight. And here, okay, now I'm preparing to take back with pawn. Knight b4 is then prevented. I don't know where my rooks should, should go. Maybe b4 or rook d1. <clears throat> when in doubt, align your rook with the pawn's queen. Like in general, you should put your rooks. Ooh, she wants to hurt me. You should put your rooks on files which might become open. Just play king h2 here. Knight c4 is a legal move. So I'm threatening the pawn three times. It's defended three times now. Queen e2. A lot of pieces just kind of clustered on the king side. Mm. So throwing in takes doesn't work. Knight a5 is kind of interesting. There's knight d2. Play knight a5. So I'm attacking the pawn. I'm going to play b4. And, and this is kind of a decoration. It looks pretty, but it's not really doing much. I'll play b4, maybe prepare c4. Wait, are we playing 10 games total or first to 10? I forget. I think it's first to 10. Okay, so this is nice actually, because now my bishop's going to open up. Um, this pawn's going to be a long term weakness. First to 10. Okay, good to know. This move. And there's g6. Oh, but then I win the pawn. So it's a double attack. Now it's another double attack. So if takes takes, it's another double attack, but there's bishop f6. So I think, oh, she wants to pin me. But let's just take a pawn. So I'm up two pawns. Down on time. Oh, prediction going. I'm not going to look at the prediction because I don't want to be influenced, but it's probably like win or lose. Also, thank you, Gertsch. Subbing with Prime. Okay. Uh, can we can I take... There's a lot of ways to convert this. Maybe this move. Just lift another piece into the attack. At some point, I do want to sack. I guess I could have taken there. I probably should have. Easy calculation. Okay, we're gonna. Yeah, we're just gonna play low risk chess. I could even uh, lift the rook up to h4. Sack and attack. Hmm. Um, I'm going to do that, but without the sack. So I'll just attack. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That was nice. Um, I, f I feel like that was the cleanest game. Out of all the games, I avoided, like, severe time trouble. And I don't think I blundered too much that game. 
what to play? Oh, I'm going to play the Jalalabad. No, do I? Oh, I can't even. If not F3, I was considering playing E5. I'll play one of these. B5. Okay. So this is what I like to play against uh, Close Sicilian. Mm. Yeah, going to pressure the pawn. Also, thank you, Wallace Bao, for the victory bits. So this is a typical move. Very often the knight will come back to h6 and then f5. It takes a lot of time, but the position gets pretty closed. So um, the fact that I'm moving my knight a bunch of times, it's hopefully not going to be too relevant in the grand scheme of things. And yeah, this is a very typical setup. If white ever plays g4, I'll take and play knight h4. And this is usually what I'm going for against close Sicilian when I play a6 on move 2, is this exact setup for the pieces. Um, bishop a6 is pretty typical. Hitting d3. Gonna keep building up. Kind of aligning myself with the bishop, but it's also aligned with the king. There's some idea to play h4, g4, knight g3. If takes, I would take with knight. Interesting. I might play like some rook move, like rook b, b8. Just so the bishop's not pinned. And I might be threatening b3. Hmm. B3 here. It's interesting. Or takes. I don't know what to do. I'll play g6 because what else? Maybe I'll put my king on g7. I just don't want to change things too drastically because I do like the setup. And this is typical, just to get the rooks connected. G4 is never coming because of the X-ray vision. Okay, so pawns are very V-shaped. I'm going to leave the tension. Because um, I'm not sure if I want to take or push anytime soon. Take bishop here and then fight for the A-file. Or bishop. Hmm. Yeah, she wants to double up. Knight a5 doesn't quite work. In b3. Um. <sighs> Might be some g4 in the end. I'm not sure what to do here. I might play b3. Just make the rook move back. And then... Because there's these squares are... Oh, wait. But okay, now they're all controlled. So rook had to move back. Now queen b7, and I'll fight for the file. Yeah, she wants to play g4. Interesting. Okay, so I'm, I'm getting the file. Very positional game. g4 might happen. Okay, really building up here. 
my time. Connect five. Yeah, what to do? Maybe this move? Oh, can I, did I win? Can, oh, my queen is trapped if rook a1. She didn't quite see it. So I'm in trouble here. Yeah, she dirty, uh, but actually she she played well because she was winning too. <laughs> well played, very well played. Okay, so it's two three. Oh, okay, that was that was kind of intense. Let's play another London, and this time I'll I'll mix up the the move order because now with Bishop G four I have ninety five. Yeah, otherwise the knight would be pinned. Oh, I could have played, I could still play h4 here. There's some fun ideas. I think I'll play h4 here. Wait a minute. Maybe I'll start with this. Like, there's already ideas of trapping the bishop with f3 and um, g4, h5. I I played knight c3 to avoid bishop takes b1. I don't want to give the bishop any escape. Now black could play bishop g6, g4, and then h6, but then I... Or h6 immediately. Um, but I can get good pawn structure. Yeah, this is, this is really nice. E3? There's also e4. And queen c2 will provoke king f7. So maybe I can start with queen c2. And then e3, bishop d3. Yeah, this looks really nice. And she would like to play g5, and after it takes, there's a pin. Oh, forgot about that move. And it shouldn't be a big deal. Castle. So the knight and king are tied down to the sad um, g6 pawn. It still takes work to, to crack the position. Thank you, T-Drev. Subbing a tier one. If I... That's a good move. She wants to simplify. Just play king here. If takes, I'll take with pawn, play king a1. And then maybe if this bishop goes away, I can play this, takes, and win the pawn. Yeah, so if takes, I'll play knight e2. And then just control the c file. It's tough for black when the rooks are not connected. So there's no rook c8. Hello. Hello. Bricks 0900. Subbing for 26 months. Welcome back. It's been some, uh, yeah, a lot of, I've been seeing a lot more subs, like subbing for over two years. I do appreciate the longevity. Am I trapping the queen? Here, here. That's close. I shouldn't take too much time here. It's just... 
Okay, let's start with a simple move. Like these positions I sometimes need to work at is like when things are really good, I just have to keep playing quickly, keep the pressure. Maybe e4. Okay, now we're going to pin from behind. Because if rook c8, I take in that wins material. And the threat is to play this. And king is really safe here. So we might see knight d7, and then, then the rooks get connected. Or that move. Huh. Might as well take first. Maybe knight f4. I'm keeping all the tension. Just trying to maximize pressure. So now there's three attackers on g6. Um, let's take it. Threatening Maven 1. Queen e7. This is a cool move. I just want a pretty mate. There's some really like cool mating possibilities. Let's play this first. The king's really stuck still. I'll take. Okay, <laughs> go for the back rank mate. Oh no, my rook. Checkmate, okay. <laughs> I didn't see a way to force it, but I saw a way to bait the, the bishop to move away. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and she was really low on time, so that worked out. Um, okay, we're going to play another Sicilian, I guess. I'll play, I'll play the Jalalabad for the lols. It's a Jalalabad. I haven't played Jalalabad in so long. How do you even play it? This move? It's like a Stafford, but you get a you can't develop your bishop to c5. Um but there's some you get some development, I guess, in this line. Probably not enough compensation for being down a pawn. But it's something. I'm trying to make this Jalala good. So I wanna, I'd like to castle queenside, but I should just castle kingside. Okay, defending the knight. There's actually some compensation here because this bishop is a bit stuck. My bishops are nice. Bishop g5 probably coming. Good move. So f6. Also queen d7. There's cases where the bishop tries to move back and then I play a quick f5, f4 and then try and trap the bishop. For example, if I get an h6 bishop h4, then I mean she might end up sacking, but we'll see. Yeah, this is actually working out really well. Because knight has to move back and then I trap the bishop. Okay. It's Jalala very good. Oh, she's gonna sack though. So what's the best way to do this? I could play this move. 
wonder if I can play bishop f4. Preserving bishop f4, there's knight h1. I mean, let's... Oh, there's knight h5 too, never mind. Huh. Maybe I'll play this first. No. No, let's just win the bishop. I was trying to be too fancy there. Um, well, my king will be a little bit naked, but there will still be attacking potential on the king side. Like f4. You know, we're both trying to attack on the king side at this point. Queen g7. A lot of it's about initiative, like making threats while improving pieces. Whoa, trying to learn. Gifting five subs. Thank you, trying to learn. Really appreciate that. Bishop f3 attacking the... counterattacking the knight. Let's play this move. Yeah, I hope you're learning something. Um, <laughs> or trying to learn something from these games. I'm attacking the bishop, threatening maybe f... Oh, f4 is really nice. f4 attacks a knight and obstructs a queen. Oh, but knight defends a bishop. Honestly, didn't see that coming. h4 is probably coming next. Our time is dwindling. to do just trade no let's start with rook f5 and then i'll trade so i induced a weakness with h4 maybe 95 just put everything in the center yeah i kind of saw that i assumed this move I might lose f pawn, but then win the h pawn. So my queen is protecting my naked king. Uh, let's play this move. A rook here coming. Oh, triple four coming. I mean, mainly this fork. She's going to try and dirty flag me, but I'm threatening some kind of mate. I think. Let's just mate next move. Unless she takes. Okay. Plenty of time. Okay, that was a fun game. Jalala, yeah, Jalala success. We'll rematch. Okay. Oh, some people, what was the prediction? Prediction was about something. Okay. Um, I'll play another one of E4. If she plays this, maybe I'll, I'll mix it up. Did I check her Smith Moore games? Oh no, I was gonna play, I was gonna play this, McDonald attack. Transposing into Grand Prix attack. So 97's wait, bishop d7. Kind of a new move. Play this anyway. I mean eventually I do want to play f5. Ooh, she's really mixing things up. I'll play f5. One of the points is if takes I get the d5 square for the knight. Wow. A very bold decision. Um, huh. Th this move dazzles me. It shouldn't be good, but I'm I'm slightly confused. Maybe I'll play bishop f4, like target d6, and then go for knight b5. By the way, this is um this is vitamin C. It's like water and the um. What was it called? Emergency.
emergency. It helps boost my immune system. Yeah, this. Not sponsored. In case people were wondering. But I also have tea. Green, um, some kind of like honey green tea. Okay. So if takes and I'll have some nice conversation. Um, this is probably the clear threat. Oh, there's a really cool idea. So if Flack ever plays d5, and I get in this and this, I can say, oh no, my queen, and then mate, because the bishop will control these squares. But it's, oh uh, yeah, it's not going to happen. It's kind of sad. Hmm. B4. That's a good move, because C2's attacked. I wonder if I can play knight e4 here. It's weird, like, in this opening, I played queen e1 with intention of attacking on the king side for when black would usually castle king side. But with queen e1, I also have the possibility of queen a5. Wait, what? Oh, knights can move backwards. Okay, let's play this move. I didn't even realize that was attacked. I saw this and this. But, um... Okay, this is nice because the pawn's attacked. And this pawn is pinned to the mating square. So I'm threatening... I was threatening knight c5. Hmm. Oh, I could play this move. Now that I've remembered knights move backwards. And I can say, oh no, my bishop. But then knight d5 and I'd fork stuff. Um, so bishop c6, she's, yeah, she's being aware of my tricks. Bishop, bishop g5. So now I probably don't want to lose a bishop. Yeah, how do I crack the position? I have to save the bishop. Just sadly move here, f6, and then move back. I didn't see I, I didn't see any thing clear or better. So I'm down on time. I mean there's still some attacking ideas. My king is still quite safe too. Just have to be more patient. Ooh, takes and d5. So if takes, I might play knight b5 first. Try and keep things messy. Wow. Let's play this move. These pawns kind of terrify me. I just have to pretend that they don't exist and do my own thing. Up on time. Mm. Hide in the corner. Because I want to take and I don't want this to be check. Okay, so now the idea is to... Black has everything defended though. But I might just win this on time. Uh, takes... Maybe this move. There we go. That was only one check, though. Mm. I want to lift the rook. Let's play g4 first. Very thankful that was defended. Oh, that was that was a little bit too close for comfort. I uh, sip tea now. Okay, I'll sip tea. I almost flagged there. I was really close. 
<sighs> yeah, she played really well and really quickly. Man. It was very unsettling. Okay. Um, I'll play a Scandi. Keep mixing up the openings. D4. Wait, what is this? I guess this is playable. Okay, we're just going to have some simple development. Yeah, I'll get kind of the, the nice Scandi setup. Trying to make John Bartholomew proud. Even though John usually takes on d5 with the queen. Hmm. Play a5. So if c4, I can play this move. That's some idea knight f4 as well. Mm -hmm. And yeah, 95's coming. Let's do this. Make it interesting. Thank you, Apple Babble. Subbing with Prime. Also, thanks to Aja Chess and Hey TJ. Uh, appreciate the, the Prime subs. Okay, so tagging various things. Ooh. Uh, wait, what? Oh. Okay, white has three defenders. I have three attackers. So we could trade a lot. Hmm. Let's play this move. I don't know what to do here. Takes. I could be normal in castle. I'd just be normal. I'll be normal for once. I delayed casting for so long. But it's usually, usually like not a bad thing to follow principles. I think you already subbing with Prime. So she wants to destroy my queen. Uh, play knight, knight d5. Rook f3, I always have a square for the queen. Now it's a confusing center of position. Knights occupy 75% of the center. I might have knight f4 coming. The rook might be a target. Always should be considering these moves. Oh, she's really close to trapping my queen. Okay, not anymore. Also, thank you, Andrew, RSK, and Red Hot Jacob. Yeah, so many people using their prime subs. I do appreciate it. To do here. I don't know what my plan is in life. I can play this, knight f4. A4. Hikaru did this to me once. Like one of the last times I played Hikaru, he just did this and then destroyed me. I forget how though. I have to uncover his suppressed memories. Okay, maybe I'll I'll try and milk like both sides of the board. Like queen side's nice. White's pawns are fixed. Now I can maybe go for this idea. There's also uh like g5, g4. Like a g. If knight moves here, oh that would be a good move. I was thinking I could take and play g4. Because this pawn is now kind of pinned to the h2 square. Oh, time is good for me. I keep forgetting about time. Like, the position distracts me from the clock. So g4. Mm. 
and just put the rook somewhere. Or maybe e5. I don't know. I'll put the rook here first. Now e5. Whoa, blunder prone. Gifting subs. Thank you, blunder prone. Oh no, my pawn. Mm. I had tactics with bishop h2. Okay. Oh no, white's pawn. Wait, this is good for me now, because I might win both pawns and win the queen. Or just win one pawn. Good move. Ooh. We both blunder there. Oh, I oh, another dirty flag. Man, she plays so well in these time scrambles. Oh, I'll let the heart rate cool down a little bit. Drink some more tea. Oh, let's go again. Okay. A lot of these games are coming down to the, the wire. Um, yeah, I'll try one of these. Maybe I'll play C3 Sicilian. Nope, never mind. Do I play... I'll play a Four Knights. Mm. Ah, she's playing. Okay. Yeah, she's playing solid chess. I don't know what I play against this. Maybe I'll play. I'll just play normal developing moves. Whoa, it's Janab. Thanks, Janab. Gifting five subs. Do appreciate that. I'm doing my best to, to stay focused. Uh, but yeah, thanks to so many people for being here. I do appreciate uh, everyone sharing positive vibes in chat. Um, I don't stay on this diagonal. Bishop e2 may have been more principled. But I'm going to play this in a more kind of aggressive attacking fashion. I like calmly move the king into the corner. It was very typical when you play f4, the, the king is happier here. My idea is probably to lift the queen. Maybe at some point play f5 or knight f5. Enjoy the space advantage. Bishop b6 may be coming. If bishop a6, I'll play this and this. One of the lifting moves. Now knight f5 hitting the bishop, kind of. So c5 is probably going to come soon. Yeah, rook e8 is a good move. Not entirely sure what to do here. I think I'll play, wait a minute. Oh, there's a really cool idea. Or maybe not. I was envisioning like check and then queen c4, but don't think that would work. Okay, so now I'm threatening to take the knight and double the pawns. I don't think she can get away with this. I always have to be considering bishop f7. The queen here first. And I have so many pieces like aimed at the king side. If c5, I have knight b5. And then some like takes and queen b3 maybe. It feels so close. Sad that you weren't in the streamer team arena. Let's go oh. Oh, I think I was maybe busy. I forget exactly when that was. Okay, so I'm contemplating sacking both bishops. 
Um, it's probably dubious. It looks so much fun. I could play queen d3 immediately. Queen d5. Not seeing it. If I take... Maybe I'll take on g7. Time. I take on g7. It's probably dubious. I mean, the position was so good, there was no great reason to sack. But I mean, this might this might actually be good for white. Knights undefended, line with a rook. F7 is a, a big, big target. So now I can take, and if rook takes, I take the knight and attack stuff. Rook is pinned. Okay, so this is turning into actually a really nice attacking game. Okay. Okay. Yeah, she didn't go for the dirty flag. Um, I felt like it was still going to take some work, but... Um, okay. Keeping some streak. Um, we'll repeat one of these. Maybe offer a Stafford. <sighs> God, they have at least one Stafford, right? I think she usually plays bishop e3 here. But she might be... Yeah, she might mix things up. We'll see. Hmm. Okay. Oh, she was expecting king f2 too. I wonder if she was... It seems like she's not... Oh, this this is a drawing line. I don't want to draw though. This is usually something I would play against a GM. Just, just get an easy draw. Uh, I'm going to play on for a win. Attack the rook. Please play this. Because it gets mated instantly. <laughs> okay, so this is uh, objectively not good for black. Um, so people should not try this at home. Or at work. I'm just going to leave all the tension. Have a small time advantage. So I will get, um, I'll get the rook eventually. And then I'll have a rook and a pawn for two minor pieces. I'm pretty sure stockfish gives something like plus two or three for white. Because white has a bishop pair. Uh, maybe I can play this first. Just trying to drain her time. Castle. It's funny, the rook still can't move because it's mate. Funny mating idea. But this is, yeah, it's beginning to be just new territory. Uh, we'll repeat once more. I'll play rook e8. So there's some pressure against this bishop. Okay, now I'll, I'll probably have to take the rook. Unless I can repeat again. And then bishop f2. There's also bishop d5. A queen e3. Mm. Spending too much time here. I will go for this. Yeah. That was a mouse slip actually. I meant to take, but now I'm hesitating. Rook d4. I don't know. This actually looks more fun. I'm going to be down a piece after takes, 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 but this rook is hard to get out, I think. And some queen e3 check idea. Some rook lifting idea. Yeah, so I kind of saw to this point, like rook e1. And I'm not sure how white defends, actually. I guess king f1. 
But the rook is completely stuck. This move. Oh, queen f3 coming. Ooh. Oh, but I have queen g6 trapping the bishop. Only move, I think. Or queen g5. Okay, so the bishop's trapped. These the Stafford Gambit pawn structure is so solid. Okay. Interesting. If I play rook, I want to play rook e1. I don't think it works though. Unless it does. No, too risky. Not my time. Play this. So all I want to do is attack on the king side. G3, I have rook e2. And then if king g1, probably g5. Mm. Play this. Yeah, I just want to chase the queen off the diagonal. The queen g5, I don't know what I do. Yeah, what do I do here? I have discoveries that don't really do much. I guess I play this and win a pawn. Somehow up time. <laughs> Another time scramble. And b4 is covered. Play this thing, rook b5. I know she's fast, but I'm up on time. There we go. Okay. I think she's winning in the end game. That was a messy game. That was a weird game. A Stafford Gambit line, man. <laughs> it's a cool variation though. Because if I had this position, let's say against Takaru, uh, I, I can just force a draw, and White can't get out of it. So it's one way to equalize. Wait, rematch? Cool finish. Oh, thank you. Hey, it's Zippy. Welcome back, Zippy. Um, I sent a rematch, I think. Oh, okay. Game starting. Cool. Um, yeah, I want to do something fun. Maybe King's Gambit. Yeah, okay, King's Gambit time. <laughs> I'm not so well prepared, but uh, we'll see what she plays. Ah, so she's sticking with the same kind of setup. Bishop e6, interesting. Yeah, someone, like, before this match started, told me to go for King's Gambit. Ooh. I guess it'll be a sharper position. So... There's a lot of captures to consider. I don't think anything leads to anything. So I'll develop. Sometimes it's best just to keep all the, the tension. Um, I am allowing this move. After which I probably move back. Okay. Move into the corner. Oh, Queen's Gambit accepted. Uh, well, she doesn't really play d4, so that might be hard to achieve. And I, I checked her um, her games against d4. She plays Queen's Gambit declined, which maybe we'll have at some point. Have this move still. Actually, I think I'll play this move, because I'll, I'll induce Bishop takes b3, and then I'll get the file for the rook, which is kind of nice. Maybe this move. Yeah, we're gonna have the bishop and the rook aimed at a7. Mm. 
she doesn't really care about my I mean the pawn's defended, so e six is logical. I kinda wanna sack. Queen d4. Cause knight c6 or is queen a4. Unfortunately there is b6 there. I could sack again. Rook a1, king b7. But then I'm down too much. Okay, I'll move back. That's a move I should have played just instantly. <laughs> I'm having too much fun calculating. Okay, so I'm going to attack the pawn, probably inducing this. And then we'll try and trade off the the main defender of the the king. I'm kind of blundering a pawn, but hopefully it's okay. B6, I win the A6 pawn. I'm not sure if this is actually a real threat. It feels like it should be. Like the king runs. There's some cool idea to uh, like play knight here and then some combination of knight e5, rook d1. Hmm. Yeah, good move. Uh, what to do? I mean, I'd have to go in, right? And g4 is probably coming. Play this move. So I, I'm trying to remove, remove the rook from uh, from the back ring so I can check and win the other rook. Easier said than done. Yeah, I could move. Oh, but now maybe I can take. Oh, I could set up the pork. The majestic pork combination of a pin and a fork. Did I miss Eric play the king's gambit? You did, but slow motion replay. Or that was kind of fast motion. But this, this did emerge from a king's gambit. Thank you, Brew, Brewby, LOL, subbing. For three months. Okay, so she saw my, my porking threat. So I can play this move. Uh, yeah, move all the way back. D5, I have C4. And if rook here, I, I fork like this. Any check, I take the knight, so discoveries don't work. Oh, but she has a counter pin. And then I deflect. It's getting complicated. Wow. How's this working? I'll just move over. Threatening the rook and threatening this. Rook's tied down to the knight. Should be winning. Am I not mating? It's close to mate. Solid move. Not seeing mate. Ah. Wow, that was a tactic. She had mate there. Dirty flag time. Ah. Ah, it's going to be a draw, maybe? That's a draw. <laughs> what was that game? Oh, I had a good position. And then I lost all my material. <laughs> no. Oh, everyone say their favorite opening. Yeah, what should I play as black? Nimzovic. Okay, I'll play knight c6. That was the first thing I saw. How do I play this opening? d6? d6? Carlson played this once. It just kind of transposes to a Pierce, I guess. Ah, she's going to go for this stuff. So. <laughs> I usually don't play this. Um, I guess e5 is logical. Uh, 
this move. I don't know what I'm doing here. I guess I should queenside castle. It's also this move. No. I usually like to play this sort of battery thing as, as white. Um, I'll play a6. Okay. Trying to not get crushed in the opening. Also trying to launch some attack. Before coming, maybe. Pinning the thing. Losing a pawn, kind of. But every pawn lost as the file opened. Okay, we could take and play this move. If ever f4, then my bishop gets really, really happy. So, ooh. I'm not sure if I want to take right away. It might leave the tension for a moment. There's a cool mating idea. A3 takes and then bishop b2 mates. I'm going to go for it. <laughs> so if takes, I take here threatening. Yeah, oh, it, does it work? She's going to play bishop d4. So I'll play c5 first. I don't know. Mm. Not seeing how this works. I'll play this. Queen d6. No. My time. I'm trying to figure out how to mate. Takes there. Rook a6. It's like a quiet move. I want to defend the pawn in the event of c5 takes takes. Ooh. I'm sacking, kind of. Hey, Eric. Hey. How's it going? I don't know what to do here. Why is my mouse mouse keeps dying too? What's this? Wait, I'm down a piece. No, my queen. No. Ah, she sees it. That's unfortunate. Okay, double attack the knights. Oh, but knight's going to defend the other knight. Uh, play this move. Ah. Play this move. Yeah, well played. Ah, my rook. She could have taken it, actually. Ah, I was trying to be too creative that game. No, okay. All I need is one draw to like clinch this match. <laughs> okay, um, let's play one of these again. Uh, yeah, I'll play C three Sicilian. Um, yeah, she's playing a lot of uh, these kind of. Ooh, what is this move? B6. I can take and then trap a rook. Hey, it's an opening trap. Winning <laughs> winning material after five moves. Okay. That's a nice way to soothe the pain of the previous game. That's a really weird opening trap. <sighs> yeah, that's why like the combination of, of B6 and D6 is not, uh, I guess, recommended. 
but it's good to like experience this this type of thing once and then uh like hopefully from her perspective she won't fall into this again oh she wants to trap my queen um i don't think my queen's getting trapped Knight c6 i have this move that was a nice kind of puzzle position because not every day you just put your queen in black's territory so quickly also thank you ropadope 13 subbing with prime um bishop here the queen has no moves currently but it should be okay let's start with this move Because this is really the only way to attack it, and then I take the pawn. And now I can probably develop somehow. Get the rook to d1. But yeah, I mean, this is what black should be doing, is and trying to create some, some ounce of hope. Oh, is there a prediction? <laughs> prediction whether I'll win the match in this game? It's looking promising, but can never let my guard down. Wait a minute. Is my queen getting trapped? Takes, takes. I could take and then the bishop's pinned. And meanwhile, I'm creating some counterplay ooh how to do this my queen might actually get trapped though i have to play this and Bishop's still pinned. I don't know how I kind of let this happen. I guess I got too complacent. Uh, if I take on d6. Wait a minute. Yeah. Takes. Not seeing it. Let's try this and rook d1. So now the bishop's into the rook and I'm fighting this. I might just lose this though. This is really bad. Take on c5. Wait, how much material do I have? Wait, maybe it's not so bad. Is this bad? Wait, oh no, box queen. Okay, wait, how am I? I'm up a pawn? What just happened there? I'm up a pawn. I'm up on time too. So I lost my queen, but then somehow it worked out. Okay, let's just not flag this game. And go for the fork. Okay, knight d5 coming. There we go. Okay. That was a weird game. I think I was losing at some point. What was that game? Um, yeah, it was weird because... Uh, like here, the queen's trapped, but the bishop's trapped, and then it comes with a fork. Okay. Um, how bad was it? I think I'm losing around here. Yeah, I'm losing around here. And then 
Oh, so bishop a6 was a blunder. Yeah, black just has to only move to wins. He takes b4. Because b4 was a, the trickiest move. Okay, we're going to hop on call. Nemo. Hello. Good games. That, that last opening I played was so troll. <laughs> Yeah, it's. Uh, I was telling my chat it's usually not a good idea to combine b6 and d6. Yes. Somehow I still managed to trap your queen, but I, then I just blundered after the whole thing. That was really weird. Yeah, I was uh, I was flustered because I thought it was going to be an easy win, and then mm -hmm. out of nowhere, out of nowhere, my queen was getting trapped and yes, had to pull off some desperate moves. <laughs> it was pretty cool though. I mean, you still got into the end game up a pawn, so. Definitely not a line I want to play in the future. Yeah, if you're gonna play d6 on move two, then I don't want to. I'm I'm an I know how to play the alapin. It's uh, just I never expect people to play c3, so I usually already have d6 played. So oh, it's interesting. Like, okay. Yeah, it's just one of those pre-move things that you always gotcha. Kind of for. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying. I've been trying to mix up the openings as much as possible and, and take yeah. advantage of things like that. Same. I mean, I think I think this time went a lot better than last time. I didn't even like prepare any of the openings mm. really against you, but like it just felt like you were avoiding some certain lines. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I feel like you you've definitely played a lot better this time, mm -hmm. or maybe I got worse. I don't know, but uh... <laughs> I think let's go with I got better. So it feels well, makes both of us feel better, you know. <laughs> yeah, your your openings seemed like they were improved. Like you just played more quickly. It, it seemed like you were more confident um, mm -hmm. with. But not taking too much time and a lot of the games you had time advantages and it was harder to get you into like opening traps apart from this yeah. last game mm -hmm. but uh yeah I, I was very impressed with like a lot of your play a lot of games that i won even you you probably should have won it came down to yeah, these time scrambles there's a lot of games where the in the time scramble it mm -hmm. just it became so crazy actually i really like that yeah, that's the case with, uh, I guess, with no increments, then a lot of, it can come down to dirty flagging if uh, mm -hmm. if either of us uh, gets too low, but makes it entertaining. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it was really good. I think the games Excellent. were honestly pretty high quality, and like it was just like the tactics was really crazy. I, I really like that part when I play against you. Oh, definitely. Yeah, and uh, I think it was it the second to last game, I tried to fake an oh no, my queen. Like, I let you just oh, yeah. take my queen, but then, and then I didn't take the to b2 and i was like oh my god okay because i actually you you oh no your rook once and i got checkmated so now i'm learning ah <laughs> uh, yeah you should always think twice before taking what looks like free material exactly i think that is definitely not just for chat it's all, mostly for me yeah i mean it's good for uh, it's good kind of life lesson not everything mm -hmm. in life is free so <laughs> for sure well, do you want to move on to uh to yeah, some bullets? Yeah, you want to do bullet?